Hi crocheters and crocheters in training, my name is Ruthu and welcome to my channel. This is the fourth video of my how to crochet the basics playlist. If you haven't already, you may want to check out this playlist and watch previous videos. Today I'll be talking to you about how to do a single crochet. Single crochet is usually abbreviated as SC. Let's get started. So first you're going to want to make a chain row. I demonstrate how to do chains and slip knots in my previous videos. You're going to want to chain 11. If you do not know how to chain, you may want to watch other videos and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, you should locate the second chain from your hook. So, this loop on your hook doesn't count as a chain. But this V, and then that's a second V. So, that's a second chain from your hook. From the back, looking at the back pumps, which is what we will be working into, is so that's the first chain, and then that's the second chain. So, you're going to want to take the head of your hook and push it into that back bump. Now you're going to want to yarn over and pull through that chain that you just inserted. Now you should just have two loops on your hook. One from the chain and the one that you just drew up now. Now you're going to want to yarn over and pull through. This gives you one single crochet. I will demonstrate again really slowly for the rest of the whole row. First, you're going to want to insert into the hook, into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Don't worry if it's really tough for you to insert into the chain. It can be really tough in the beginning, but it does get easier. Yarn over through that chain that you inserted into with two loops yarn over pull through insert into the chain yarn over pull through pull through two insert into the chain Yarn over, pull through, pull through two. Insert into the chain, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. Insert into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert into the chain, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. Insert into the chain, yarn over, yarn over, and pull through those two. And last one, insert into chain. This could be probably the hardest to get into. Now, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. So there you have it. You have your first row of single crochet. You should have 10 stitches in total since you changed, chained 11 but skipped the first stitch on your hook. So let's, each V is a stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You want to make sure you only chain once into each chain and you should be good. Now I'm going to show you how to make your next row. You're going to chain one and turn because you will always, if you're right-handed, you will always be crocheting right to left. If you're left-handed, you're going to want to turn, so you crochet from left to right. Now you want to insert into this V here, so it's kind of hard to see. I'm sorry about that. Now you want to just like insert into this whole kind of thing here so it's under the V's 
You want to make sure it's under both V's. And now you want to yarn over, pull through with two loops on your hook, pull through again. So bringing, getting two loops on your hook. Insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over again. Occasionally you will have to unravel some yarn from your skein just so you have enough to work with. So we will continue that. Now insert into stitch, yarn over, bring it out of the stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert into stitch, yarn over, bring it out of stitch, pull through. Insert into stitch, yarn over, bring it out of stitch, pull through. Insert into stitch, yarn over into stitch, pull through. Insert into stitch, yarn over into stitch, out of stitch, pull through. Insert into stitch, yarn over and pull out of the stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert into stitch, yarn over, pull out of stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert into stitch, yarn over, pull out of stitch, yarn over, pull through. At the end of this row, you should again have 10 single crochet, keeping the same amount. And that chain one does not count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This loop on your hook will never count. Now, just keep practice doing it over and over and over again. At each Turning, you want to chain one and turn. Work 10 stitches if you chained 11. Turn, work 10 stitches, basically. And make, a, make eight more rows and come back. And I will teach you how to fasten off or in other terms end the project. All right, so I just finished row 10 of single crochet. Um, I realized I didn't show you how to count the rows, so I'm just gonna quickly do that. I'm gonna use my pencil to point. So as, I don't know if you can see, look, but each, you can see there's like, kind of like a gap between every two rows, but like there's a horizontal bar and then there's like two loops and then another horizontal bar. So each one's a row. So that's one row, two row, three row, four row, row five, row six, row seven, row eight, row nine, and then that's row 10. So those are your 10 rows. If it curls or like it doesn't look right, maybe you might want, if you're using acrylic, I would recommend stretching it out a bit. If it curls, well, that's fine. It, it's gonna curl it's it still curls like that for me that's just it sometimes it's the yarn sometimes it's your tension sometimes it's just like random stuff so that's not too concerning so once you like how it looks and you're ready to fasten off or in other terms end it you're gonna want to take your hook and chain one now pull the working yarn and make the chain pretty tight so that's your last chain. Now you want to take some and leave some yarn for weaving in ends. Take your scissors and just cut, snip the yarn from a decent bit away. So it looks like this. Now you're going to take your hook and pull away from your swatch. So now that's, you've just, and now pull tight. Congrats, you have just completed your first swatch of single crochet. You can keep practicing this stitch by making dishcloths or coasters, or you can watch the next video. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you like this, please like or share to any other crocheters or crocheters to be, and subscribe for similar content. 
My plan for our next video is a video on how to do a double crochet and a half double crochet. Until then, have fun crocheting!